Hello again. Now, last lesson we looked at what's a taxable income. So we looked at uh, this idea of uh, what's the money that you get that the government takes tax out of. And so anything that was deducted off, we ended up with this big lump or big lump of cash we called our taxable income. And we call that our taxable income because from that, and this is the confusing bit I've, I've noticed for a lot of students, is from that we take away our income tax. Okay, So we have our taxable income, in other words, the amount of money that we get that can be taxable, and from that comes out our tax, our income tax. Okay, So this is the, the tax of the income, and this is the income that we have that's taxable. They're two words that sound similar, and people who don't really know um, the difference, or a lot of people struggle knowing the difference between the two. What they use, or what the government uses in Australia, uh, is this scale. It's basically tax bracket scale, where the more you earn effectively, the more tax you get. And the idea is, the more you earn, the more uh, you can help out. Whereas the less you earn, the less spare money you've got, and the less tax you should pay because you're probably struggling to feed yourself. That's kind of the idea. So we see here that if you earn up to $18,200 in this table here, from zero to $18,200, you actually don't get taxed. And so a lot of uh, you know, high school kids who go and work at Macca's or whatever, they actually don't pay any tax because they don't earn more than $18,200. But you see, up to $18,200, and I, you, you might have noticed that I actually like using, uh, I like using sort of this, what are they call, like a scale, I don't know. Up to $18,200, it's 0% tax. In other words, you earn all of that money. But from 18000 to three hundred three that thirty seven thousand dollars you get taken nineteen cents for every dollar over eighteen so basically nineteen percent oh there's a focus loop and we're back the nineteen percent of that gets taken off you and then from thirty-seven to eighty thousand, we see that thirty-two and a half percent of that gets taken out. And we see that it's incremental. The more you earn, the greater the percentage of that of that chunk focus is struggling. Let's see if I can change the focus. Oh, still auto focusing. Problem solved. Now, we see as we go up for each chunk in between 18,000 to 37% to 19%, in between 37,000 to 80,000, it's 32%. And for the next chunk, which goes all the way up to 180,000, you get taken out 37%. And for everything above that, going onwards and onwards, onwards and upwards, you get taken out 45%. And so let's say you are a millionaire, multi, multi, multi millionaire. You get taken out the same as everyone else up until 180,000. And then for everything that you earn more, literally those millions of dollars, you get 45% of that taken off you for all of that that top end stuff. And so that's why uh, a lot of very, very wealthy people really don't like our tax system as it is and argue just for a flat rate for everybody because they feel that they're being unduly punished for earning more money. And so, how much income tax would you pay for each dollar you earn over $18,001? It's fairly easy. How much income we see here? For every dollar you earn over 18000 sure, 18 Hundred and eighty thousand and one dollars. 
So each dollar you earn over, you get taken out 45 cents in every dollar. Now let's get down to the, to the nitty gritty and we're going to jump all the way down to this one, not to this one, we're going to jump down all the way to 190,000. Okay, that's funny. All right, so if we earn $190,000, we have a taxable income of $190,000. We need to have a look at our tax table and we see where does this sit in our tax table? What in what bracket? Because you'll be given a tax table in all of these questions. Okay, you have to. Okay, we can't. We don't expect you to remember this. And so we see one hundred ninety thousand dollars is one hundred is in this bracket. It's above one hundred eighty thousand and one dollars. And therefore, we look across. We look across. We look across, and we see that we have to pay fifty four thousand five hundred and forty seven dollars tax plus. 45 cents that you for each dollar that you earn over $180,000. Now for for ease, or should I say for to ease explanation, I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to say, well, this is our taxable income, $190,000 minus $180,000 times by 4.45. I could even write instead here, I could write 45%. Okay, I could write that too. They're both the same thing. So now we get our trusty steed. We type it in. 54,547 plus, in brackets, 190,000. Actually, I stand corrected, there should be a double bracket here, shouldn't there? Because a good calculator will do the times before it does the minus. So let's remember our order of operations. 190,000 minus 180,000. Now I know some of you are doing this in your head and going, Sir, why are you doing this? I'm just showing you the process. And then we times it by 24. And therefore, we end up with $59,047 in tax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.